kickoff here. It's one minute after three on this Saturday afternoon. It's Brackley Town against Hereford. The referee whistles the start of the game and we're underway. Hereford are kicking from left to right, attacking the uh, AGP end. Brackley attacking the cricket ground end. Hereford in black and white. Brackley in all red. First touch for George Carline. He plays it long. And a keeper, Curtis Pond. First touch for him. And now Morgan Pond Roberts ball. picks the ball up on the edge of the penalty area and fires in towards goal. There's a comfortable save in the end for Curtis Pond, but uh, Morgan Roberts rightly full of confidence. Got a goal against Russell. He's the man with the goals in his boots at the moment for Brackley and uh, wasted no time there. Picked up the ball, drove towards the edge of the penalty area, fired in a, in a shot. It, it didn't trouble Pond, but... Uh, a sign of the confidence that the Brackley striker has, Morgan Roberts. You feel he will be very important for Brackley in this push for those promotion places and ultimately for promotion at come the end of the season. Picked up on that far side by Cowley, top scorer this season with 11 goals for Hereford. And now that Howley tries to get his shot away, can't do so, but the ball, the goal kick deep into the Hereford half and Connor Hall's straight onto it crosses it in early defender gets ahead to it and Danny Newton gets a shot that's blocked and it runs loose now to Shetmer and Bedsey back in the Brackley side after his two game suspension for reaching that 10 yellow card mark and now Tyler Little crosses it in deep beyond the goalkeeper header comes oh. in cleared off the line by I think that might, might have been Williams, but uh, Hereford clear upfield, but uh, well cut out by Murren Bedsey, who just looks back to Captain Dean, so Brackley can start again. Spreads it wide to Tyler Little, who advances over the halfway line, Little. And now with Carline, into Danny Newton. Newton round his player, can he cross in? Yes, he can. The ball's on, there's a scramble on the ground. Uh, was a good header from Carline. Brackley couldn't pick up the uh, the second ball though. And O'Sullivan plays it up. And Danny Newton is over there contesting the ball as you'd expect him to. And now Connor Hall lays it into the path of Morgan Roberts, looking to shoot. Oh, what a goal! Goal for Morgan Roberts! What a fantastic piece of play by Brackley. Connor Hall laid it into the path of Connor of Morgan Roberts. Took it in his stride with Roberts from the edge of the penalty area. He hit it left-footed. And the goalkeeper had no chance into the bottom corner. We've got 12 minutes on the clock at St James Park. Brackley Town 1, Hereford 0. So Tommy O'Sullivan looks up and uh, that languid style of his finds George Carline who just cuts in from the right and then now finds Tyler Little who comes inside, chips it in, right-footed! Oh, almost a second goal for Brackley as Connor Hall coming in at the back post laid it in and the goalie well, just clubs it away with his feet off the line for uh, the first corner of the game to Brackley Boulder hasn't had too much opportunity to run at the fullback yet as of this game but goes to the byline gets a great cross in oh Connor Hall met the cross Saved by the keeper, but more luck than judgment, you have to say. Fantastic move by the, the men in the red shirts and called her for the first time, went up the wing, didn't even get to the byline, but put in a fantastic cross. And Connor Hall met it first time and uh, expected to see the back of the net ripple there, Steve. Houston, he feeds Colden now on the left. One man to beat. Looks to take him on, gets to the byline, stops, turns. Just make space for a, a cross, which he does, to the back post. There's Danny Newton. Oh. Newton gets his head up and his own goal, but uh, it dribbles into the hands of Curtis Pond in the Hereford ball forward. And Morgan Roberts gives chase. It only comes to Moran Bedsey just outside the centre circle. He plays the ball outside to Calder. Calder's got one man in front of him. He's taking him on. It's gone past him. He's able to get oh, the cross brilliant. in again. It's into oh. the near post and Connor Hall's flicked header is headed away by Downing and away for a corner. Tommy O'Sullivan will take this corner. We've played 36 minutes. Ball comes into the near post. Curtis Pond's nowhere. The oh. Ball's, oh. 
It goes another corner. Yeah. It comes in from Car uh, Carline, I think it was. It's uh, flicked up and over the bar by a Hereford head. It's out towards the edge of the box and it's too long. And Connor Hall may even retrieve this and bring this forward for Brackley. He does, and he plays the ball into O'Sullivan. And O'Sullivan's got a huge amount of space in front of him. If he uses the right ball, he gives it to Mer Roberts. And now Tyler Little shoots. Curtis Pond gets down and just gathers. Referee gets us underway indeed. It's Brackley kicking from left to right. And the ball immediately back with Danny Lewis, who plays the ball forward up to Newton and Carline, who I thought had an excellent first half. Carline really dominant in the air. So here comes the free kick from O'Sullivan towards Dean. Dean gets his head to it, flicks off his head and picked up by Carline, who knocks it back to Murambedzi, who looks for support, chips it up to Roberts. Roberts up against Skinner. Turns in well, just the Brackley man, plays in a lovely cross. Oh. And, oh, is it the post? Danny Newton's got a shot away. I think it came off Pond, who punched it out. So, O'Sullivan with his free kick, coming in from the left, towards the penalty spot. Dean rises. Shot comes in from Zach Lilly. George Carline caught out there. Moment of danger here for Brackley with Okeka breaking forward. Cross comes in. Important header by Tyler Little. Did really well the defender there, Steve. Yeah. Under a bit of pressure, put the ball out over his own crossbar. It was a dangerous moment, but uh, handled it well. Calder is tackled. That lets Okeka through. And Dean's back with an important defensive header. Shot comes in mm. from Babos. And it's uh, in the end a couple of yards wide, but uh, Hereford. You know, Sullivan clears up to the halfway line. Good header from Connor Hall. And now Danny Newton over the halfway line. He's got Connor in the centre if he can find him. Up to the edge of the penalty area is Newton. Forced back. Tyler Little back to Newton. Chips it a little bit long for Carline, but Carline picks it up on the left hand side. Danger's not cleared. Back to Calder. Calder looking to go past his man, That's which he does, and wins a corner. A Skinner makes a mess of his touch, and Morgan Roberts is able to find Carline, who feeds Hall. Hall has one man in front of him. He's taken him on. He's gone past him. He's just got a nick off a Hereford man, or else he would have been away. Gives it to Newton, who holds the ball up, and gives it back to Hall once again. Hall's got his back to goal, but Newton oh. gets a shooting <laughs> chance and hooks it over the bar. Tyler Little does good defensive work and then Carline flicks the ball inside to Murrumbedzi and Murrumbedzi keeps possession, finds the ball forward for Hall and Hall now has a run. Oh. He's pushed over by Halkins. Bates with his free kick. It's a good one. It's into it the box and it's a header. Oh, there's a second goal and it's Brackley at the far post. And Bradley take a second, second goal and a 2-0 lead. It's a good ball in by Bates. It found... Lilly at the far post, he heads in. And Zach Lilly, who's so, so deadly in front of goal for a defender. And Brackley have uh, seen off this challenge this afternoon as the ball goes forward. And there is the final whistle. It's a good, fantastic 2-0 win for Brackley.